A very active period coming up severe wise throughout the nation's midsection starting today going well into next week. So this is my house. And oh my God. And I'll tell you what, over the next couple of months, we're starting to head into this time of year where you tend to have some of the deadliest weather. You have things like flooding, tornadoes, lightning, rip currents, heat. Heat is always the number one killer, by the way, historically. You ever heard that sound before? Looked out your window and seen that? What you can see because the rainfall is coming down so hard, you can barely make what's going on outside of the window. We've got so many places that could be in line for just that and for multiple days, overnight into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The threat zone through overnight basically goes edge to edge from one side of the country to the other. And our main concerns are for damaging winds and hail, but Guys, we can't discount the possibility of an isolated tornado. The tornado threat is bigger on Friday, and you can see in that red zone area right down the country's midsection and where we have that stripe that goes from the upper Midwest over into the mid-Atlantic. Please be cautious here. And then this is, a, again, a beginning of a very active pattern, one of the more active severe weather patterns I've ever seen since about 2003 or 2004 with a very thick jet stream, a massive trough covering the western U.S. with wave after wave of upper level storm systems rotating around that like spokes on a wheel one after another with wave after wave wave after wave after wave i don't know if you know this thor news is for winners and that's why you're here to so stick around i don't know what's going on active volcanoes stay cool this is a thor news presentation thor news presents so welcome to Maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba do 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 do, ba do, ba do, ba do 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 do. Do 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 do. None of your old systems are gonna work for very long. And again, looking at the long range, it looks like there is really no end in sight uh, to this incredibly active severe weather pattern. Uh, it'll likely close out May and possibly even uh, continue into early June here uh, across portions of Tor Tornado Alley. You've got to agree. It is a truly beautiful sight to behold. On Friday, conditions definitely becoming more active over the nation's midsection. On Saturday, our threat zone once again back in the country's midsection, but pulling further east on Sunday around more of the Great Lakes. By the time we get into Monday, we're back into Texas and Oklahoma, as well as Kansas. And then, as we look between now and Tuesday, we can't just talk about the tornado threat because the flood threat is very real and highly underestimated. All those zones that you see shaded in the yellow could pick up three to five inches of rain or more. All modes of severe possible. Winds could go as high as 80 miles per hour. And this is going to be very late again in the day, especially into the evening and also the overnight. Wind, hail and tornadoes moderate here flooding. That's a slight threat. Over the weekend, this continues to expand to include more concentrated population centers uh, along the I-35 corridor. Dallas, Oklahoma City, Kansas City, and again, all modes of severe weather will be a possibility. As we edge our way into Sunday, you can see the threat continuing to shift its way off toward the east and the northeast. Isolated tornadoes, downpour, hail, and damaging winds. Heavy flooding rains are going to be a big concern. Some spots could see up to 10 inches, and the pattern will stay extremely active right into next week. Friday, it'll still be unsettled. Saturday, here we get back into it with the next storm system rolling in, more expansive. And then into Sunday, a big dip in the jet stream, more rain showers and snow showers. It'll be a very active weekend, especially into Sunday. California is getting soaked by a major storm more typical in winter. A geomagnetic storm from the sun is going to make it possible for people across the northern U.S. and Canada to see the aurora borealis. A series of coronal mass ejections from the sun that are expected to hit Earth and lasting through May 17th were why the watch was issued. NASA researchers are saying that the moon is shrinking and it may be triggering moon quakes. There's going to be a considerable amount of rain, especially right here across the Mason-Dixon line, the uh, Maryland and Pennsylvania border and includes places like D.C. and up to Philly and some showers to the north. But it's going to be what meteorologists call a dirty warm-up. And what I mean by that is, so welcome to 
Maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, maximum grand, solar minimum, boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba do 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 do, ba doom, ba doom, ba do 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 do, do do. Do 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 do. None of your old systems are gonna work for very long. <laughs>